Kann das sein? Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to the preschool kinder kid class for Gleason's Gymnastics. This is our fourth one, and we're having a lot of fun, and we're so happy that you could be here. We moved this around so that you can get a little bit better sound for the music that we're going to be doing. We're here doing our class because we're being safe and we're doing um, but, but keeping our distance from each other. They say keeping our distance, two arms length away. Very good, Miss Carol. And here's Olaf, our friend. And you notice Miss Carol Olaf has a mask on. Do you think that means that Olaf is sick? Oh no, he, Olaf, you're not sick, are you? Oh no, I'm not sick. I I'm think he doesn't like his to, nose in here, but... I'm just trying to stay healthy. Oh, so wearing a mask doesn't necessarily mean that you're sick. Some of the people in the community are wearing masks when they go in and out of the stores because they are trying to stay healthy and not get sick from the germs. That's a very good idea. Good job, Olaf. You know what? Let's start our music. I think that's great. Now, while Miss Carol's getting the music all set, why don't you get your favorite stuffed animal and you, they can play along with us. We're going to be starting out with toes go up and toes go down. So you'll be sit seated on the floor when you start and you're going to have your toes go up and down and your arms go up and down, your head go up and down and your shoulders go up and down. And at the end, you stand up and you swap down and you round. After that, we're gonna do the freeze and practice our safety steps. So get your stuffed animal oh, and sanitizer first. We're sanitizing our hands. Very good. Olaf, here's some for you. Oh, thank you. Very good, very thank good. Thank you, Mr. Learn. thank you. I'm gonna get ready with the music. Get your stuffed animal and sit right down. Miss Carol is going to be dancing with lovable Larry the Lion. Oh, my favorite. Okay, ready? I'm going to rub this stuff in. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Ready, Olaf? Here we go. Spin in a circle. Legs out straight. My toes go up, my toes go down. Toes up, toes down. Toes. Up, toes down, my toes go round and round and round. Arms, arms go up, my arms go down. Arms up, arms down. Arms up, arms down, my arms go round and round and round. Now my shoulders up and down. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Oh, that feels good. Down. Down, up, down. Now my shoulders oh, are Oh, there you go. Ram and get them like that one. Ram and get Now, head looks up. Head looks down. Up and down. Up and down. That goes round. Round and round and round. All of me. All of me goes up. All of me goes down. Now turn all around, round, round and round. Good job, boys Very and girls. Good. Yay! Very good. Now the next song we're gonna do is a special song. You've done this in class before, and everyone likes this one, it's a favorite. It's called The Freeze. So if you're gonna to listen to the music, and we're gonna follow the instructions in the music, but when the music stops, we have to freeze. So you're moving, moving to the music, and when they say freeze, the music stops, you're stuck. Here we go. Clap your hands. Clap, 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 get ready. Listen close for the freeze, safety stop. Good job. Swing your arms. Ready and freeze. Okay, now we're gonna be jumping. Ha! You can up, up. You can flip and you can flop. Get 
Yes, ready now, freeze, safety step. Now we're gonna march. March, march, march. Love it, you're doing a great job, boys and girls. Keep marching. Good job, Olaf. March, march, march. Get ready and freeze. Safety step. Now we're jumping again. Here we go. Jump, 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 jump. And get ready now. Freeze. Safety stop. Nice job. Lovable Larry. Okay. Now we're going to march and clap. March and clap. We're doing two things at once. Get ready. Freeze. Safety stop. Wonderful, boys and girls. Very good. Okay, now we're going to be stretching. So let's sit back down on the floor. And we're going to be reviewing our positions. Miss Carol's our demonstrator. Okay, so start up with present or ta-da, we call this. Ta-da. Put those arms up. Ta-da. Very good. You can hold your stuffed animal up in the air, too, if you want. All right, then you're going to sit down on the floor. We're sitting with our legs out straight just like we did in toes up and toes down. Now this is called the pipe position. Pipe position. Can everyone say pipe? Um, pipe. Pipe, pipe, very good. And you can walk your hands down and get a little stretch there in the <gasps> pipe position. Oh, look, can you feel that stretch? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, Larry's got it. Good job. Okay, pop position, your knees come up oh, like yes. this. You're bending your knees, your chin gets out of your chest. And that is called top position. Very good. Okay, next is straddle. Legs go apart. Okay. And we are also, later on, we're going to be doing sliding. Where when we uh, move, our feet come back together. Okay. Slide apart, apart and then you step together. Apart and step. Okay, very good. Can you get your stuffed animal to have its legs go apart and together? Watch Ola. Apart and together. Very good. Apart and together. Apart and together. Very good. That's a straddle position. And it's also a straddle jump on the trampoline. And today we're going to try to straddle roll with some of Oh. So you would start in a standing position to straddle and then you come together. Oh, I can't wait to see Miss Carol demonstrate. Okay, let's do our rock and roll. Chin on the chest and rock and roll. 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 Now last oh. week was Easter. Yes. And we learned a new one called the what? That was the egg roll. The egg roll, okay. So in the egg roll, you start on your back. Your knees are in your chest, and you're going side to side. Side. Oh, there are little gloves in the air. You just kick it in the head. And be careful, boys and girls, that, that you don't roll into any of the furniture in your living room or your family room. Yes, make sure that you have space, and it's okay with mom and dad that you're doing the things. If, Maybe mom and dad can do it with you. Yes, and if it's too hard, um, you don't have to do the whole thing. If you can't do a board roll, you can do a rock and roll. And so it's all good. good. Idea. All good. All right. Should we do a little stretching in the straddle? Let's, Let's stretch in the straddle. All right. Let's walk our hands down to the one foot. Wow. I'm gonna have my animal stretch down there. Oh, he says, "Great job, Miss Carol." Good. Now we're gonna go. Up and over to the other side and stretch. Miss Carol, yes. do you think the word megamortis is too hard for the little boys and girls to understand? That means you're very tight, kind of like oh. Miss Carol and Mr. Larry. Oh. <laughs> but Here stretching is very good. But Olaf is very, very flexible, even though he sometimes is frozen. <laughs> <laughs> 
and to the other side. Very good. We did the freeze today because the crazy weather. How about that snow yesterday? Wasn't that something? Oh, I thought it was supposed to be warm in April. It is supposed to be warm. We're waiting. We're you know what? Olaf likes it. I bet you do. Olaf yes, he does. Because he is kind of a cold guy. Yes. All right, let's walk it down the middle. Whoa, big stretch there. Ooh, very good. Very big stretch. All right. Um, next, we are going to do our um, position. Yes. And our, our uh, strength position. So huh. lay, lay on your stomach first. We'll do some strengthening things for our back, and we'll also oh, do them for our core. Our core is like our middle section. All right, so we'll do lots of noise. Up, 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 up. Like you're flying there like you Superman. Sometimes Nick's a spider man. <laughs> there we go, Miss Carol. Do it again. Up, the noise. Lift your arms up and your legs up. Up, 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 up Don't up, bend up. your knees. Lift Keep your, your legs head straight up. if you can. There we go. Our legs are harder together, Miss Carol. Oh, they can be as hard as okay. Okay. They, it's harder to keep them together. Oh, but you're more advanced, so I think it'd be good if you did yours together. Here, let's have this little, nice little um, bear. We can sit on your feet here. We'll keep our feet together. There we go. Here we go. Let's make some noise. Noise. And up. And let's go. Oh, look at Miss Carol. Look what she's doing. Very good. Let's give her a round of applause. Oh, Very good. so funny that you're there. You have so many helpful hands. I do. <laughs> All right, next, we're gonna be on our hands and knees. We're gonna balance there, and we're gonna rock a little bit today. We're rocking, that way we stretch out our wrists a little bit, like the classes did. So we're gonna rock forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Stretching those wrists out. Oh, I can feel the stretch. Okay, now you're lifting up one leg. Oh, here Behind we go. you, this is kind of like the kitty cat. I'm keeping my space, don't worry. <laughs> and try the other leg. Uh, I always have so much fun with Mr. Larry <laughs> and Olaf and my bear friends. Larry the bear, Larry the lion. <laughs> Larry the lion. Okay, and the advanced method we tried last week, we're going to do one leg and the opposite oh. arm. So that means. If I use this leg, I don't use this arm because that's the same side of my body. I use the other arm, that opposite. Oh. Okay. So I lift up my one leg. Now I don't lift up this hand because that's on the same side. I lift up the opposite. And that's good. See if we can hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Yes. I saw some of the boys trying that in the boys class too. It's hard. Okay, now we're gonna do the other leg. So I'm gonna use this leg. I don't use this arm because it's on the same side. I use the opposite arm. Oh. On my hands and knees, lift up my leg. Not this arm, that's the same side, the opposite. Oh, you got it. Very Three. good, let's count, ready? One, two, three, four, four five, five, six, oh. Just five, Mr. Larry. These are preschoolers. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to do a half of a kneel. This is called tall kneel. Oh. Hands are on your hips and you're kneeling up tall. Okay. Oh, I feel a stretch in my hip flexors. Yes. Now we're going to do what's called a half of a kneel. Put your hands on your hips, put one leg out. Okay. That's called a half of a kneel. Very good. That's balancing two and tightening your core. Now we're going to switch to the other leg. Go back to the half kneel. And we're going to switch to the opposite leg. Very good. This is balancing and it's also tightening for your core. Your core is this area here. Very good. Okay. Um, now let's do the bare stand. We're going to do a bear position, or it's called, in yoga, they call it downward dog. But we're going to be walking, doing some animal walks a little bit later, and this is the position for the bear. Your hands are flat, your feet are flat, and you lift your hips up, so you kind of look like that, like a mountain. Oh, okay, so my hands are down. I'm going to put my one foot down, the other foot down, lift my knees up. Oh, very good. Very good. 
that's called the downward dog or the bear position. Because if you walk in that position, that's called the bear walk. Miss Carol, maybe you can turn sideways so they can see you. Oh. Right, let's try it again, boys and girls. Miss Carol's kneeling. And you put your hands on the floor Flat. in front of you like that. Put your toes under. Ready? Here. And let's get that elevator going. Lift your hips up. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's stuck. And ten. Perfect. Very, very good. And did you notice? Oh, that was so cool. You showed them over and under. Oh my gosh. I loved it. Let's try it one more time. Over, went, went, went over my body and under, it went underneath. Maybe your mom and dad can let your animal help your animal do the same thing. Ready, like well, it. let's try it one more time. Let's try it. Ready? Go. And I'll push the button for the elevator. Ready? Let's go up to the third floor. Get the hips up. Very yes. good. And here is Ola up there. I think I'm going to take a little rest. A little nap with you. And, oh, okay. We're going over. Now, Ola's going under. Here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, oh, oh. There he goes. He went under. Very good, Ola. Oh, a high five. Oh, air high five. Oh, yeah, okay. yes. Air Social distancing. Yes. <laughs> All righty. Next, we are going to stand up and we're going to be doing some balancing. We did weight bearing, okay? We did some strengthening things. Now we're going to do some balancing. Put your hands on your hips. And today, what we're going to do is we're going to go up on our tippy toes. Oh. Okay? So you're going to lift your heels up. Oh, that's hard to balance. And now, try to keep your balance all the way up. And when you're down. doing that, try to press down on the big toe side of your foot, okay? And keep up. your balance and down. Thanks. Hey, those are called heel raises. And on the beam, we do tiptoe walking. It's called relevé, right? Mm -hmm. Which is a little hard. Now let's try it one foot up. You tried okay. it at the ankle. Now today, let's try it at your knee. Okay. Good. Now while you're balancing, try to look at one object. And stay still. Yes, press your toes down and look at one object. One. Don't look all around the room. It's hard to balance. Three, four, five. Very so good. So you can hold it for three to five with your back. Now the other side. Okay, slowly we're lifting our foot up to our knee. Press your toes down. Now you're focusing and looking at one object. Maybe you can look and at if, your stuffed animal. If you lose your balance, that's okay. Just go back. Two, oh, lost my balance. Mr. Larry's very good at his balance. Two, three. We practice assistant Jada Blitz. Very good. <laughs> okay, um, now we're going to try a balance. We did the arabesque last week. Or the airplane. Or the airplane. And you lift up. Notice one social up distancing we are. Behind you. Push your toes good. down. And then the other foot. One, two, and five. Nice job. Nice job. Um, we also talked about straddling and um, moving together with the feet. That's sidestepping, step together, step together. You can do it on a line on the floor or um, across your rug, just like that. So I do step together, step together, step together, back the other way. Step together, step together, step together. And the reason we're doing that is later we're going to Doing galloping, sliding. This is called sliding. Now you don't cross your feet when you slide because you fall down. Your feet get caught. You let them go right next to each other and then you step again. Okay, let's go back the other way now. Step together, step together. That's the beginning of galloping. Galloping, you go more forward than sideways. Your one foot is in front and you slide them. And we're going to be doing that when we do our. Very good. Very good. So let's get another. Why are we doing our animal balance? Um, we're going to do them now. Good. Well, let's get some of our animals. All right. Hey, guys. Okay, Olaf is just going fast here because Olaf isn't an animal. Olaf is a snowman. 
She's got lovable Larry. I'm sitting here there. Kevin the Beast and Carol Cobb. We're going to be doing some walking with them. What are we doing with Olaf? Is Olaf taking a snooze? Okay. We all need so something to do We're going to start out slowly. We're going to do the, the um, elephant walk. What you do with an elephant, they have a big, wide way they stand like this. And they have a trunk, so your hands go together as the trunk. You bend over, your knees can be slightly back, and you're gonna swing the trunk side to side and slowly walk. Then you lift your trunk up, and go back again. There we go, that's the elephant walk. Lift that trunk up. Yay. Good job. And you think elephants go fast, Mr. Larry, or they go slow? I think elephants go slow. They kind of do go slow. Sometimes if they get frightened, they go fast. Yes. yes. Okay, next we're going to do our kitty cat or um, dog. So you're on your hands and knees. Can we go sideways again so I can yes. see? Thank you. On your you. hands and knees, and we're walking. Yes, on your hands and knees. Meow. Well, we make up our mind now. It's kind of like a bipolar animal. Are we meowing or are we barking? What are we doing? Well, I'm practicing one of the cats they love. A good cat over and a dog over. Get our hips up and let's march. Here we go slowly with our bear walk. One, two, one, two, and stop. Now we're going backwards. One, two, one, two, one, two, and let's rest. Ta da! Oh, very good, very good. All right. So we've done our music, we've done our stretching, we've done our balancing, and we've done our strength. These are very good things to be working on. Because they're things that help you as a person, help you as a child, and help you when you do any sports. To be flexible, strong, and balanced or coordinated. Okay, now next, in honor of last week, we're practicing a bunny. So you get your little hands ready, your knees are bent a little bit, and you chop. Hippity hop, hippity hop, hippity hop, don't stop. Hippity hop, hippity hop. <laughs> don't stop. Just to let you know, Miss Carol does have a master's degree. <laughs> And um, now, let's do the bunny one more time with the hippity hop because it looked very good. Here we go. Ready? I think you should do it this time. Hippity hop, hippity hop, hippity hop, don't stop. Hippity hop, hippity hop, hippity hop, don't stop. Very good. Next is the frog jump. So get your animal, your little stuffed animal friend, or the beast. And you're gonna squat down, touch him on the floor, and jump. Oh. But you gotta say ribbit. Ribbit. Ribbit, like a frog. Oh, okay. Right? Ready? Ribbit. Touch. Ribbit. And ribbit. <laughs> ribbit. 
<laughs> rip it. Uh oh, Olaf fell over. Oh, he's taking another nap. It was, <laughs> it was the impact of our rivets. That now the was. next thing it, we're doing is we're gonna do a uh, galloping like a horse. So. Olaf is gonna down. Okay. So what I thought we could do too is your mom might have a scarf or your dad a bandana or now, a shirt. And um, what you do is you put that in your the back of your pants, like a tail. But also, you might see people out in the community, like Olaf's wearing a scarf. Sometimes they just take the scarf and go like this. And they're trying to protect themselves from the germs. Okay, they're putting it around their face like that. Just right. protect me. Yep. That's another way to stay healthy. So I'm gonna tuck this in the back here so I have a little tail because I'm gonna pretend I'm a horse. And when you're galloping, you're kind of sliding your feet and pulling them together and go up here. Sideways so we can see you. Okay, ready? There she goes with her little tail wagging in the breeze. You can make that sound just like a horse going. Very good. Galloping is a great skill to learn. It's a different way to move, like running is a way to move. It's kind of fun. It has kind of a, a nice pattern to it. So good. All right. Now let's take your scarf. I'm going to practice catching a little bit. So you're going to hold the scarf up or have your mom and dad hold it up and they just drop it and your job is to try to catch it. So when I'm catching, I have my hands ready. I call that ready position. And then I grab the scarf with my hands. My eyes have to watch it. Eyes watch it, hands catch it. Ready? Mr. Larry will hold the scarf up for Miss Carol. I'm ready. watching. And go. You didn't like go. Oh. Oh. Ready and go. You have to drop it, Mr. Larry. Oh. Well, she didn't tell me that. Okay, <laughs> ready? Got it. Very good. Oh, Olaf, it. Olaf, good job. Here we go. Ready? Go. Let go of it. <laughs> Got it. Oh. Very and good. if you mess, don't worry. Just pick it up and try again. You can try a couple times. It's not easy. And remember, you got to grip it with your hands, but you have to see it with your eyes. So you watch it coming down, just like if you were playing baseball or you were playing Frisbee. You have to see the ball or see the Frisbee so that you can catch it. This is called hand-eye coordination because your eyes are watching and your hands are catching. So you're coordinating your eyes and your hands. That's a very big thing. I feel like I'm in Mr. Rogers' playhouse. Here we go. It's in Mr. Larry's class. <laughs> there we go. We learned two new big words. Coordination, rigor mortis, all those big words. Okay, now the next one, this is hard. And I don't know if you'll be able to do it, but you could try, you could try with mom and dad. You can toss it to your mom and dad and catch it. This one, you toss it up and you catch it down. So I'm gonna let my hand go up like this. I'm gonna throw it up. I let go at the top and then I catch it down. That's pretty hard. Some scarves are heavier than others. Those ones move faster. The lighter scarves, this is a lighter scarf. This moves slower a little bit. So let's let's watch how they how they go. This one's gonna go a little slower. See how it flows oh, more? Oh, it's easier to catch a it's, slower object. Yes, and this is the fast one. See how oh. much faster that is? So those are good Toss things to learn. Slower and faster. Toss it up, catch it down. Toss it up, my hand stays up. After I toss it, my hand stays up, and then I grab it. We well, gotta keep looking with your eyes. It's all about the eyes watching and the hands catching. This one's faster, this is hard. Toss it up, catch it down. If you, it's too hard for you, have mom and dad help you, they'll toss it, you catch it. Okay, like Mr. Larry did for me. He dropped it, I caught it. That's the easier method. Now let's maybe we can play catch with our stuffed animal with your mom and dad or with yourself. 
So we take, I'm going to take lovable Larry and I'm going to lift him up and catch him. So I'm watching, I don't want my lovable little animal to fall on the floor. I lift him up and I catch him. Toss and catch. Toss and catch. Toss is kind of letting go at the top. Like if I, uh, throwing is more hello and throw. But we're not throwing anything. We don't want to throw our favorite stuffed animal. We want to just toss him gently and catch him. Sometimes we get too carried away and we toss him and he goes way over there and he breaks the lamp. We don't want to do that. No. We want to keep him close to us so that we can catch him. Because if I toss him way over there, it's going to be difficult for me to catch him. It's kind of like juggling them or jiggling them at first. You just jiggle them a little bit. Then you try to jiggle them and let them go up a little bit more. Oh, jiggle I like up. that. I'm Isn't jiggling them a little bit. And then I'm up. Up and good. eyes Very are good. watching. Toss it up, catch it down. Very good. I like high it. Five, high five. Very good. All right, we're going to finish up with um, rolls. We're going to get the rolls up. We're going to add that straddle roll in there today. Very we're going to have the stuffed animals do it. Uh, <laughs> a lot maybe. And well, if you have a wedge, great. If you don't have a wedge at home, Miss Carol. If they don't, they could just use them. Oh, a pillow. A pillow oh. would be nice and soft. So, here's a little uh, bear. He puts his hands up. His feet are together first. Hands go down. Looks at his belly button and rolls. Ta -da! There and you go. can have your stuffed handle do the roll first, too. So, everyone's doing your stuffed handle. Here's lovable Larry in many different ways. He's going to keep his feet together. He touches his hands down and then he ducks his head under. So what part of your head touches the floor, Miss Carol? Is it my forehead? No. Is it the top of my head? Not the top. Oh, it's the back of it's my the head. the back. Okay. Almost even your shoulders, like your head goes way under. Oh. So like when you would look, you'd be looking like at your belly button? Absolutely. Oh, okay, everyone, let's put our hands down. Let's look at our belly button. Our head is down and lovable Larry rolls down. And he finishes with a big to da Very good. Okay. Next, the bear is going to do a straddle. So he starts with his feet together. His hands go down. He looks at his belly button. And he rolls. When he comes up, though, he keeps his legs together and he stands up. Ta-da! Are we doing a straddle roll? Yes. We're okay. Doing a straddle so roll. when we're straddle rolling, we're starting with our legs apart, like Mr. Larry and lovable Larry the lion. We all have our legs apart. We touch our hands on the floor, we duck our head together, but we come up with our legs together, together in the ta-da position, okay? So yeah. that's kind of like what we did at the beginning of the class when we warmed up, where we did a part together, a part together. We're starting with our legs apart. Here we go, lovable Larry. Legs apart, Larry the lion. Tuck his head under, look at our belly button. Now our legs are together. And we stand up to the big to die. Wonderful. Very good job. Thanks. We did a lot today. I think we were all done. We're so glad you could join us today. We had a lot of fun with our songs and with our um, new animal walks. So we're going to finish up singing our um, goodbye, goodbye song. song. So we're going to clap our hands. Ready? Clap, clap, clap. One, two, three. Apples, peaches, pumpkin pie. Thank you very much and goodbye. We'll see you next week, boys and girls. Have a great week. Stay safe. Stay safe.